Yo, yo, what up, fam? I just had a little thought. It's, uh, you know, everybody out here wants to be successful, most people at least, talking about being successful and how do you do this and how do you do that and always constantly asking me questions, which is fine. And I answer them to the best of my abilities. But what I want to say is everything you need to know, every single thing on earth you need to know to be wealthy, to be happy, to be prosperous, to be well balanced, to be in great shape, to be whatever the fuck a great life, a fantastic, amazing life looks like to you is out there for you. None of it's a secret. None of it is hidden away. The 1% ain't hiding shit, right? Nobody's hiding nothing. It's all right here on the internet. It's everywhere. And you've probably already been watching it and listening to it and reading it. That's not the problem. The problem isn't that the information and the skills and the, all that stuff is, is unavailable. That's not the issue. What I realized was when I started trying to figure out how to change my whole life, what I realized was, you know, I, I, I heard this one guy, right? Everybody's saying this guy's dope. He's giving you the blueprint, blah, blah, blah. And so I looked him up. I was like, this motherfucker's telling the secret. Okay, cool. There's no secret. But anyway, I couldn't hear the motherfucker, man. I listened and I, I couldn't hear it. I couldn't hear what he was saying. And so I got all mad and shit. Ah, this is bullshit. It's fake ass motherfucker, whatever. And then a couple months later, he popped up in my feed again. And so I tried to listen to him again. And I could barely, I, I heard a couple of words, but I was just like, ah, this is stupid. This is a motherfucker, bad communicator, whatever. I made up some excuses for me to fail is what I did. I made up some excuses for me to stay broke and stay fucked up, right? And then about six months later, you know, I was diving into all kinds of other shit, trying to find somebody else that could tell me whatever, how to do shit. And, uh, and how to become wealthy and how to do all these things, right? And then this motherfucker popped up another, again, six months later. And so I was determined to hear what this fool's got to say. So I listened to it like 10 times in a row, no joke. All day long, that's the only like video that I listened to. It was about 40 minutes long, over and over and over again. And I finally heard every word and it melted my fucking mind, dude. It blew my fucking mind. Because I realized that all the information in the world that we need to have the most amazing life we could ever want is already in my fucking hand every day. But the problem is my perception, my belief systems, the things that I've convinced myself of and that other people have convinced me of that are fucking not true. That's the fucking problem. The perception. With all the shit your money, your parents told you about money and your family and friends told you about anything is what you believe that's your belief system and so that's the fucking problem so once I listen to this guy like you know 30 fucking times or whatever I could finally pick up every word and it, and it shocked me to the core dude and ever since then I've been going hard like I dove in because I real I, I lost my stupid ass limitations my mental limitation that I gave myself it's self-imposed we all have a self-imposed limiting belief system and mindset and I know you've heard people say that and didn't know what the hell they was talking about that's what they're talking about oh money's the root of all evil and black people can't be successful and everybody's out to get me and I'm big boned and all this bullshit it's all fucking bullshit it's all lies any person can be skinny any person can be in great shape. Any person can be healthy. Any person can be wealthy. Any person can be whatever the fuck a awesome life looks like to you. Anyone. Unless you're like, I mean, anyone. Literally, there's a dude with no arms and no legs worth tens of millions of dollars. He's one of the most sought after speakers in the world. Dude ain't got no arms or legs at all. Nothing. Not even a stump. And the dude's positive and happy as fuck. I'm just saying, dude, it's your belief system that's holding you back. And once you understand that, game on. Because now you can hear everything, right? So focus on how to change. Bob Proctor calls it a paradigm, right? Call it whatever the fuck you want. It's a limiting belief system. It's a restrictive mindset, right? 
You believe something that's not fucking true that everybody put in your head your whole life. Your, your preachers, your fucking parents, your family members, your friends, people online. That's the worst shit. People online are dumb as fuck telling you all kinds of bullshit that's not real. And you believe that shit because you don't know any better. Because you don't know any difference. So you're like, oh, yeah, that sounds like it might be true. Because it, it matches the rest of my shitty ass limiting belief system. But that's the fucking issue, man. Everything you need is at your fingertips. And once you realize that, game fucking on. I hope y'all got something out of this. Dude, you can even fucking Google or even search on YouTube how to break limiting beliefs. I mean, it's, everything is fucking there. Everywhere you need it, it's everywhere. It's in your pocket all day long. The fucking key to the universe is in your fucking pocket every day, all day long. And you're on here scrolling around on fucking Instagram, liking people because they shake their fucking ass and wondering why your ass ain't wealthy or fucking in shape or whatever. Your ass is the problem. My ass is the problem. Everybody's ass is the problem. And then when I drop videos like this, don't nobody like it because it don't match their stupid ass belief system. That's the fucking problem. That's the trip. Motherfuckers are so brainwashed by their own stupid shit, they can't even hear good shit when it fucking smacks them upside the head. That's the fucking problem with human beings. And it's not human beings, I don't believe. I, I've looked into this hard, man. I've thought about this hard. I don't think it's human beings is the issue. I think it's the way society affects our brains. The way our brains are built to process things and the way society is built around us, that's what fucks up our brains. So... Break through to the other side, baby. Break on through and get your shit together. Adios. Savage Investor, baby. Always dropping nugs on your ass. Constantly dropping facts. Check it out. Adios.